Well, here we are again at uh, the Summerland site. It's an incredible thing now, uh, Gina. It's 48 years uh, to this day, uh, August that year, 73, that um, everything happened. You, your determination knows no bounds, I know. And uh, this year, what are you going to say when you make your speech? Well, I'm, I'm just trying to impress to our elected representatives that the clock is ticking. In two years' time, it's going to be the 50th anniversary of this fire. And there's still nothing being done on this site to commemorate the fact that 50 people were killed here. Their blood was spilled on this site, and yet here we are, 15 years after it's been demolished, and it's still derelict, and we're still waiting. And there's not one of them that's got any courage to actually stand up and put their public support behind this venture that we have for a memorial. Mm -hmm. We've got a plan We've got a charity in place, we've got costings, we put it to the DOI and to DEFA two, over two years ago and still they're dragging their heels. And in two years time, the focus of the media here and in the UK and maybe further afield will be on this site. <laughs> We're just tuning up. Yeah. Um, and whatever is on this site or is not on this site will be the focus of media attention. So by this means, I hope to get them stirred into action to do something um, and put a memorial here, which is proportionate in size to this huge disaster, which is one of the biggest losses of life due to fire um, in Europe, in modern times. I mean, why is it there's been nothing done? Why is it I have to stand here after eight years, I'm just, I'm just a, a wife, a mum, a nan. They are our representatives. And yet their silence now and over 48 years has been deafening. Well, this regime is coming to an end. So you're really talking to the next set of MHKs, are you, to, to get that support you need? Well, I hope that they will take it on board in the, in the next government because... The past five years, as far as I'm concerned, with these elect elected representatives, has been wasted. So many opportunities when they could have made a difference, not just here on this site, but to so many people who are suffering when there's kids that haven't got a decent meal, uh, when people can't get an appointment to see even a consultant, when people don't know where they are going to sleep tonight. They've been judged in my opinion and found wanting so many opportunities missed so many opportunities squandered where were their promises when they got elected that they were going to make a difference as far as I'm concerned there's no good governance they just don't seem to take it on board vanity projects yeah money squandered yeah taxpayers paying the bill for financial disasters that we all have to dig deep and pay for, yes. But while there's one person left behind on this island, and while 50 people here remain unacknowledged and unrecognised, they've been wanting in my books. You're not going to give up, obviously, and you mentioned the 50th one, which will be, I mean, it's an incredible thing, isn't it? In two years' time, we're going to be there. This seems to be the time it's going to happen, maybe, you, you know, with that sort of headline in front of us, that, that sort of milestone. Do you think this will be the, the chance now to finally get this the way you want to see it? I don't know, Paul. In, in all honesty, I do not know which way it will pan out. Um, I think previous governments have been running scared and I don't know what they're afraid of. But I hope the next tranche that come into government will really make a difference. I hope they do, but I can't, I can't answer that really, to be honest.